Welcome back to the Tech Shack to another low quality video. This is another example of the customer is always right and this is a pretty reluctant build for me. So Dylan was in the shop. He was just supposed to take his old Optiplex, throw in a couple of hard drives so he can have his Plex server up and running. He was currently running it off of a single external on his main desktop. So he wanted to move it over to a dedicated box and a NAS. That's all it was supposed to be. But unfortunately, I had a Hardware Haven video on in the background when he came here. Basically, he built like a gaming PC style server, and that's kind of what we're doing here. We have a Fantax Pro case right there. We got this motherboard, this X99. Now, this was all impulse buy, too. So, we bought all this on Amazon and these two, the CPU and RAM on eBay. So, everything was here in a couple of days. So, he didn't mess around. We we're supposed to get a machinist cheap motherboard, but we actually got upgraded to this one. So. I'm going to reluctantly put his server together. All right, so everything post tested fine, but this was in fact the motherboard we thought it was. He ordered it wasn't the nice fancy motherboard on the box, but it did come with the battery since it wasn't an Amazon order, and he did pay what is only like ten dollars more than what it would have been on AliExpress, and you had it in three days. So paid for the convenience an extra 10 bucks whereas Jeffy's gonna be waiting three months for this same exact motherboard directly from AliExpress so the choice is yours but now let's get this thing together Alright, so it's the next day. I kicked Dylan out last night when the kids came home. Came in last night and finished everything I could. I got Windows Server 2022 up and running. We're running Windows Server 2022 because he wants Windows Server. He's comfortable with Windows. Um, but 20, 2019 that I have a whole bunch of licenses for. That one doesn't support WSL2, only WSL1. And so we can have Docker containers running. And UI web server for his Olama installation that he's going to be running for his self-hosted AI and all that stuff, he needed WSL2. So we're running Windows Server 2022. Now, some mistakes were made with what he ordered. As you see, nothing is lit up. That's because he got a more premium case than I recommended for this budget build. Um, with Much better fans, don't get me wrong, but they're expecting you to have a premium gaming motherboard, not a server motherboard. So there isn't a built-in cheap RGB controller. So none of the RGB and anything here lights up. So, I mentioned he's running two mechanical drives. These are going to be running in RAID 1. All right, I, he thought he had a three terabyte hard drive. So he ordered another three terabyte and he actually had a four terabyte. All right, so a dynamic partition. So the three terabyte partition is mirrored on both drives, but the four terabyte one has an extra one terabyte partition that we set up. So we can install some software and make use of it, but there's no redundancy for that partition. 
Now this is just temporary. He does plan on going to two 12 terabyte drives in RAID 1 and then running three four terabyte SATA SSDs because this drive does have, this case does have the mounting for those drives in the back in the software RAID 5 through um, Windows Drive Management. So this is just like his starter, his starter base kit, just so he can get Plex off of his main desktop. Now, again, I, I did not recommend running a liquid cooler. Cooler's running fine, everything's working, but again, he has no RGB, so we had to order an RGB controller for this thing. So yeah, while we wait for the RGB controller to come in, I'm gonna remote into it and we're gonna get all the software stuff set up on the back end.
So guys, somebody here? Huh? What's going on? Hey. UPS man. Got RGB. All right, so this cheap little controller is actually not bad. It's magnetic. It's a fan controller and an ARGB controller. So it has a PWM pass through to the motherboard and a um, five volt RGB. So you can let your motherboard control the RGB and the fans through it. Um, but this motherboard had plenty of fan headers, so the fans are running off that header, those headers, but it didn't have any RGB. So this guy is gonna provide all the RGB effects. And it actually came with a remote that works through like all the side panels, everything. It's a decent remote, unlike a lot of the other cheaper options that you have to be pointed directly at a sensor. Alright, I absolutely love how this server came out. The customer thinks it's absolutely beautiful. If all this RGB isn't for you, that's okay, because it's not for you. If the customer loves it, this budget little RGB controller is way better than I thought. Way more effects than I thought, and it works through the side panel, so really sensitive remote system. Way better than most of these cheap RGB controllers. But that is it for this low quality video. I will see you guys in the next one.